When the Thomas Moran house started being restored, uh, there was one thing that was pretty obvious. The electrical wiring was very old. Um, and in fact, research tells us that the Moran studio was one of the first buildings, private homes to get electricity in East Hampton, pretty early anyway. And there were really no original lighting fixtures left in the house. They'd all been changed over the years. So that meant that we really had to, besides trying to figure out exactly what textiles were used on the walls, where partitions were, you know, repairing windows, because the house was in pretty dangerous condition when it was first acquired. Um, it also meant that we had to look for fixtures. And one of the fixtures we found was in 1880s, which is just right for the Moran Studio, built in 1884, lantern with stained glass on it. And the lanterns were often in hallways or sometimes they were in windows. And in this case, this one was uh, hung upstairs where a light had been in the bay window in the master bedroom. And it's a four-sided lantern with fancy brass ornamentation on it, but it's all made out of stained glass, deep greens, beautiful blues. A lot of the pieces of stained glass have different textures molded on them. And it looks totally spectacular when it's lit up. And when you come to visit the studio, we always have that light lit because it's a really wonderful example of early gas electric lighting and it's fun to have it there in the studio.